I spray this lace and is it not giving scalp? Is it not giving scalp? What you do to me, between me and you, I feel a chemistry. Hello loves, welcome back to the channel. My name is Taylor. If you're new here, welcome. So on this channel, we typically get into all things that encompasses beauty and we do wig installs, specifically synthetic wig install. This is a synthetic wig. And so today I want to share with you all some products that I have found really helpful and that you can purchase and most importantly, you can purchase them all from Amazon and get them to your house within a few days, depending on what type of subscription you have to the service. Things that I'm going to be mentioning in this video are going to be good for both synthetic and human human hair wig maintenance. So if you're interested in learning more about that, then keep on watching. I said wig maintenance, but this is also just like products that are really good for you to have in general. The first thing I'm going to be featuring is the Even Wonder Lace Adhesive Spray. Now I know that if you watch if you watch wig and wig videos in general, whether that's TikToks, Instagram videos, YouTube, you probably are primarily seeing people use this along with some other products, but people have been using Even for a long time. I have all three sprays now. I have the red, the yellow, and the black. I wanted to try the black because the black can they said is like super strong girl. And I have been using this for a few of my previous uploads and installs and y'all let me tell you this it ain't going nowhere when you use this spray. There are bigger bottles available like bigger sizes available of this spray but I guess I just well I wanted to just try it out to see if I like it to see if it holds my wig down to see if it stands the test. And so I tried a smaller size. I will be re-upping and getting a larger size since I install wigs like every week. Um, but this is the, so like I said, they have three different cans um, and three different types of spray and they each have a different strength. This one is a Supreme strength and this can is small but it's mighty. When you install your wig using this spray, I don't even anticipate sweat to be able to lift up your lace. Um, it's amazing. It just keeps it down in place and I could, tr I could literally be out all day when I use this spray and come back to my lace not lifting, everything's still looking snatched and laid. And if you're interested in seeing like how I use this product, check out some of my other uploads. I have been using this spray and it's been amazing. So the next spray that I have that's also by Even that I have been using for maintenance purposes specifically is their detangling spray. So this is the Even 5 Second Detangler Spray for Wigs. Um, I wasn't sure when I first saw this like if it would really be good for my synthetic wigs but most recently I just uploaded a little short on how I repair or revive my curly synthetic wig. I was using, I was reviving the synthetic wig um, Dominica by Outre. Easy for me to just you know run my fingers through it. With the curly synthetic wig unit you don't want to brush it because you will ruin the curls or you'll make the curl patterns loose and it'll be very obvious um, but also you can also use this on your human hair wigs as well. I also wear curly human hair units and um, I feel as though tangling is not necessarily an issue but this will be good for like just maintaining it so that um, you're not constantly brushing your human hair wig but with the synthetic wig this helps to just make it softer and I haven't used this yet on a human hair wig but I do play oh, I'm all about maintenance on that because you really have to use those kind of you you really have to treat those kind of units as human hair anyway and so a good detangling spray will help you know your brushes got glide easily through it this smells really good too so it's like slightly scented it doesn't smell bad at all one time I hugged my boyfriend he thought I was wearing perfume I was not it was detangling spray um, so a lot, you get a lot of it in here. This is like the standard sizing, I think, for this particular product. Um, you get a lot, and like I said, you can use this on both synthetic and human hair wig. This has really been coming in clutch for my curly synthetic wigs, and truly just helping to soften it up. You don't have to, you don't have to use this product necessarily on a curly unit, but that's just primarily what I have used it for. You can of course use this on a straight unit. I'm sure I can use it on this unit once this starts to tangle up on me to the point where it seems like I cannot wear this out in public. So all it does is just simply soften up the fibers of your hair um, and it allows you to glide, you know, your styling tools through it, such as the comb or brush or whatever the case may be. This product that I purchased off Amazon that is super essential for my wig maintenance and for my wig applications in general, the Simply Styling Light Silk Spray. This is a silicone spray that I'm sure you probably have seen floating around the synthetic community. Hold on, I gotta spray some on my hair now, actually. So the first time that I ever saw this product, um, is that your hair, who's another wig influencer on YouTube, and other platforms she was featuring it she was talking about it i can't remember in her video if she said this is a black owned product or a black created product 
um but if it is you know that is dope as well but i was doing some research because i get a lot of questions on my tiktok especially like how do you revive your wigs i revive my wigs all the time and i do i have other methods as well so i'm always you know i'm always constantly doing research on like what are some products that people can use just on the go on the fly or how to preserve their wig before it gets to the point of no return and this product has been it so this is a silicone spray and what it does is like restores like the luster of your hair it helps with the original texture of your synthetic wig you can also use this on your human hair wigs as well and what i typically do especially if it is a straight unit i spray and then i seal it in with heat for units such as this where it's already pre-styled pre-curled i just spray it on my hair and kind of just work it through you don't have to wait until your wig is damaged you can use this each time you apply it or if there's a wig that you had prior to getting this product or just a wig that you you know have been wearing lately you can also go back in and it'll help to restore it i can personally speak as somebody who has like gone through and taken a straight hair wig that got, got really tangly around the nape area or just well that's typically where straight hair units get tangly and i've taken my time and used the spray detangled it after using this spray and then sealed it in with heat and been able to run my fingers back through it so I would highly recommend this spray. You can, I think you primarily can find this on Amazon. So yeah, this is a product that I'd say you 100% need it for just maintaining your synthetic wig. Probably should have kept it going with the Even family, but I have another Even product that I'm featuring and that is the Lace Tint Spray. So this is an essential product for when you are styling your hair and particularly when you're about to apply your lace. And this is obviously universal for both synthetic and human hair wigs. Um, I see a lot of people using this more on their human hair lace because it kind of helps out after maybe you bleach your knots um it makes everything one color or say you don't feel like bleaching your knots you can go in with this spray in terms of your synthetic units sometimes you get units that claim to have an hd lace and it really doesn't and it's super ashy and just doesn't look good so if it's not pre-tinted watching this video because you are somebody that wears synthetic units you have probably seen this product time and time again so it's nothing new I got around to trying this uh, at the beginning of the year because I haven't seen it and I was like, I'm gonna get this because this is a game changer. And y'all, it is a game changer because now I cut down like about five minutes that I would normally take to put like powder or something in my lace part and my parting or my lace. Um, so now you just simply spray and you can get your whole entire lace. I sprayed this lace and is it not giving scalp? Is it not giving scalp? I have the shade medium brown. They have some, I think they have, I don't remember the shade range in particular, a shade range from light to dark. And I know that you can also find this in your hair store, but sometimes they're limited in the hair store. So if you can't find that, I would recommend going to Amazon to buy this particular lace tint. Um, even is killing it. Now, one thing I don't know is if even offers this spray in a larger size or, or larger fluid ounce. I would love to because I feel like I've been using it like every week and I'm kind of low, but I will be re-upping on this as well because this is, I got a matter of fact, I'm gonna stock up on this. I'm gonna see if they offer this in bundles because this is what you need. This is like, this is what you need. This product is specifically for synthetic units because I can't imagine that a human hair unit would have this issue, but that is dry shampoo. So this is the Batiste dry shampoo. I got it in the original scent because I don't need uh, my hair to smell like oranges, but this is just the original scent and everybody has known for a while in the synthetic wig community specifically that dry shampoo is the answer to silk hair prayers. So when you get a super silky unit and it looks really shiny and you want to dull it down because you, if not, you kind of risk it looking like a party city wig, you want to get your dry shampoo. Um, this one, I like I said, got it off Amazon. I got the large bottle, even though I tip, I don't, I mean, sometimes some units that are silky don't look super shiny and I don't need it, but then there are some, and I've just done a unit recently, like my Bobby Boss Electa unit. I've just done a review on that and I had to use it because she was looking really shiny. She was looking kind of party city-ish. So I had to tone her down a bit and the way to do it was with this um, dry shampoo. So some people say to also use baby powder and this dry shampoo is like the texture of baby powder. So what I like to do so to avoid it getting all over the place um, is spray it in my hand and then pat my wig down with it and take it take it and distribute it among like the, the sections of my hair. Cause, and it can kind of be intimidating using dry shampoo because when you spray it, it comes out super white and doesn't blend in automatically. And it's like you're spraying baby powder. Um, it's like you're spraying moist baby powder. So you do have to blend it down. Um, prior to me getting this for my synthetic wigs, I had never used dry shampoo. I know a lot of people do use it if they're like 
in between washes, if they're in between wash days, whatever the case may be. I don't do it on my real hair, but I will use it on my synthetic wig. Um, this is another way that you can maintain your wigs, human or synthetic. And in fact, it actually really works well on both synthetic and human. Um, and that is the Quick Fingers 3-in-1 Comb. So I actually just use this product to get one of my old synthetic wigs straightened, like bone straight. And this actually helps to get your hair straightened by reducing inconvenience of sometimes doing the comb chase method when you are using a flat iron. Like I said, so it's a 3-in-1. You stick your finger in the middle. I'm not flipping you all off. Your finger in the middle. You can hold the comb this way or you can take it and flip it around and use the wider side. So I had the comb this way because I was using the fine side to straighten my hair. It also comes with a pick in the middle that you just slide right out and you can use it to part your hair and comb straight down and take the flat iron right behind it and just take it on down. So I had a lot of fun using this because it really reduces like the amount of time you take to try to get your hair bone straight and and especially when you want to use the comb chase method or yeah the comb chase method so this made it really easy and got it really straight quick fingers was kind enough to send me this product and if you're interested in purchasing it you can purchase it from amazon you can use my affiliate link down below i do get a small little commission so if you want to help your girl out click that link next product that i'm about to feature is very um is essential for both human and synthetic wigs and that is a spritz bottle for a human hair unit i would typically use this on like curly hair and you know you always need a bottle because you have to wet your hair to get it curly before you put any product in it and then also what i use this for is to remove my lace so when i remove my lace i like to spray it you know get it wet to loosen up the glue or loosen up the spray um and just make sure to carefully remove it i did not realize when i purchased this bottle that it was going to be this big it came in like this super long slender box and i thought it was a tripod that is how large this thing is in person but y'all i literally filled this water bottle up at the beginning of the month and i have not had to refill it since um and it's like and you can see where it's at you can see it but that is just how convenient this spray bottle is at this particular size because i don't have to fill it up i had a smaller size i was using before and it was really inconvenient because i had to constantly fill it up i'd be midway through detangling my human hair wig or I would be midway through taking off my lays and I need to fill it back up. And so having this larger bottle, it really helped. I mean, also just having this bottle in general is necessary to when you need to wet your hair or remove your lace. Makes it super easy. It doesn't drench you. Um, it just comes out like a spray. Not that you've never seen this product before, but I wanted to highlight this size because this size is, it seems obnoxious, but it's really necessary. And it just helps to honestly cut down time of like how much you spend filling up a water bottle when you're in the midst of styling your hair or moving your lace. Another product that a lot of people use for both human and synthetic wig install. People typically use this on their lace or for, for a ball cap method. And that is the Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation. I have done ball cap methods before. It's been a while since I've done one and I've been meaning to do one so I can perfect my skills. But when I do use it, I would use this one i got the shade uh level i got the shade level 15. i had one that was too light like level 11 and it wasn't doing the trick but for me i'm i'm level 15. um so if anybody wants to reference that this is it this really is a game changer how i use this particular product for my synthetic units is i like to put it at like the edge of the where i cut the hairline I'm lifting back my lace to show y'all like I have makeup on this lace right now because it helps to blend it in and make it look a lot more natural. If I'm working with a synthetic unit that needs plucking and I don't have time or I don't feel like doing it, I will use this foundation because it helps to just, you know, bring the look all together and look realistic. The next thing that I also got from Eben is I got some official baby hair brushes. So I'm holding up a screenshot of the Eben 24 hour edge tamer brush this is a two in one. So one side is a brush, one is a comb, but I primarily use the brush side i feel like it was high time that i get an official baby hair brush because i was using a toothbrush and there's no shame in that because plenty of people still do it uh, but i felt like if i really want to take my units there if i really, if i really want to take my looks there i need to invest in like a, a proper tool and i would have to say this has really been doing it for me um on my normal hair i use the regular brush on my wigs and such for my baby hairs i use the hard brush i think it's the middle it comes in regular hard and extreme hard so the next thing that you need that's an essential and it's also good for wig maintenance that is a, a and that is a tweezer set well this is by the seller ts mad 
Tears or maybe it's Mad. I don't know which one. Um, it's kind of hard to read, but um, basically this is a tweezer set that I got. It comes with this pink pouch. It's really cute. It has their logo on it, um, but it comes with a pair of like scissors that are super small and they're really good for getting that precise jagged line when you want to cut your lace. And then it also comes with four different pairs of tweezers in four different styles. And so I've been, I use it a little bit to, to pluck my hairline. I haven't gotten too much into plucking it on these synthetic units, but I am challenging myself to do that, to truly transform these synthetic units for you all. Um, but I have different options I can choose from when I decide I have the super narrow point, I have like a slanted point, I have a standard point, um, and another slanted point. The next thing that I got that's also super essential for your synthetic and your human hair wigs, it is 60 piece eyebrow razor set. Here she is. She makes a lot of noise, so I'm just gonna like hold her up and then put her down. Yes, it is 60 eyebrow razors in that set, and you might think that is excessive, but for me, I am somebody that loses very small, tangible items, and so having just a bunch to choose from, it's been really helpful. Whatever scissors can't do, the eyebrow razors comes in and saves the day. And you're, you'll never run out. You'll never have to run out. And I feel like I kept like losing my eyebrow razors. So I just decided to go ahead and invest in a bulk pack. And I can tell you, I don't regret it. I think I'm on like razor number two or three. The next thing that I got is super unique and super convenient. Known as the hair extension, but I call it a little wig tuxedo bag because it's, it has a hanger as well. So you can hang it in a closet or wherever you choose to hang it. And this is really convenient for me because sometimes synthetic wigs do not come with a bag, believe it or not. Um, it just comes in the, in the box itself like a net. And so I feel like, where am I gonna store this wig? I've been trying to figure out for a long time how to properly store my synthetic. This product helped me with wig storage. As you can see, like I said, it comes with a hanger. You can put it in a bag so it doesn't occupy space in whatever room that you you know keep your wigs. And then for me, it was super convenient because I was able to put the stock card in there so I can know which wig I'm working with. Because sometimes, you know, I get wigs that do not come in bags. They come in just a hairnet only. And I'm like, I have no clue how to store this. And I save my sock cards for like later content purposes. And so this is an easy way for me to just keep track of the wig and also just keep it from tangling further. Um, a lot of people ask me like, you know, how do you revive your wigs? And this is one of them. Um, or how do you maintain your wig? And this is one of the ways I maintain them by keeping them safely stored and so this is one of like the top ways that i recommend storing your wigs is getting some of these storage bags for your wig and it comes in a pack of 10 i'm definitely going to purchase some more because i have way more than 10 synthetic wigs like the way i pick out clothes i pick out a wig like hmm, how am i feeling today and so i can just look and see which wig it is based off the stock card so i'm really proud of all the things that i purchased to maintain my wig i'm really proud of these storage bags. In addition to that storage bag, I also got like these travel storage bags. So this is like a drawstring bag and it's silk and it has like little tassels on it or whatever. Sometimes if you've like purchased like a human hair wig, sometimes they give you the wig in these kind of bags and so you'll have it for those purposes. I noticed that like I went on like a trip last month or so and I had my human hair wig with me at the time because I just didn't want to deal with too much maintenance. Um, and I didn't have like a proper way to store it. Like, I was like putting it in like a random plastic bag I found. But for your human hair wigs, you want to take care of it like it's real hair, of course. And so the best way to, to take care of human hair wigs is like keeping it wrapped in silk. And so this was good for travel purposes. Like when you have your hair in your suitcase or your, on your carry on bag, whatever the case may be, you can protect it in these kinds of bags. So I bought this for travel purposes. I don't know where I'm traveling to y'all, but when I do travel, I want to make sure that I was traveling in a convenient way with my wig taking care of my wigs of course i definitely don't like to like slack on my wig care even if i am out of town these bags also come in black so you have a choice of like the pink bag or the black bag um and i don't remember how many comes in this pack but i will have a link down below so that you can choose the best option for you so that is it for this video if you like the products that i mentioned and you found them helpful found them useful which i assure you i hope you do because these products are amazing and they have truly helped just up my wig game like by 100%. So if you're interested, they'll all be linked down below. Check out some of my other content. I have wig videos um, that you can catch up on. I have some units that are super affordable and ones that just look amazing and I'm sure they look amazing on you. Keep up with your girl off YouTube. Follow your girl on socials at on TikTok and Instagram above 
Thank you all once again for watching. I love you. Stay beautiful and stay safe.